This is the Solid Signal podcast for the week of November 1st, 2021. You know, I promised all of you that I would get back to topic this week, and I intend to do so with the topic being WeBoost Cell Phone Signal Boosters. You know, I've talked a lot about cell phone signal boosters in the past and how you really ought to have one and how really 95% of people have a need for one and 5% of people only, you know, have one. And, and that's not really kind of a good balance. A cell phone signal booster is a great investment. It makes your phone work better. It makes every phone work better in your home or business. And WeBoost are the folks that you really want to be looking into. Why? It's all about the quality and the history. You know, let me start by saying that Wilson Electronics, the parent company of uh, WeBoost, is a 100% American company, always has been. And if that's the sort of thing that's important to you, knowing that you're supporting jobs throughout the United States is going to be something you can feel proud about when you get a WeBoost cell phone signal booster. I've personally been working with the folks from Wilson Electronics, the parent company of WeBoost, for about 10 years, and they've been in business for about twice that long. They were some of the first people to do cell phone signal boosters right. You know, in the early days, uh, cell signals were bad. You remember the guy used to walk around saying, can you hear me now? It's because a lot of times you couldn't. And so there were several companies out there that were trying to come up with an idea to amplify cell phone signals. After all, uh, we amplify radio signals all the time, and it couldn't be that hard, right? Well, some companies came up with plans that just kind of um, threatened to take down the entire cell phone network, and that didn't work super well. It was the folks at WeBoost and some of the subsidiaries that they have that came up with this really automatic system for checking signal strength all the time and having this anti-feedback circuit that made sure that you would never be passing dangerous feedback onto the cell phone network. At the same time, always be providing the most signal that you possibly could. When the FCC decided to get serious about cell phone signal boosters in the early 2010s, they turned to Wilson Electronics because of their expertise. And the folks at Wilson actually had a hand in writing the rules that all cell phone signal boosters have to live by in the United States. So if anybody can do it, they can do it. They've come up with some innovative products throughout the years. And I, I like the boosters, first of all, I like the way they look. I like the current generation of cell boosters because a cell phone booster it's not like you really buy it for the looks, but there, you know, there's a certain pride that comes in looking at this thing and saying, yeah, I definitely want to have that on my desk. Um, most of the time, the hardware for a cell booster is pretty hidden, but you're still going to have to have some of the antennas visible. And, you know, when you look at the Wilson products, you know, you're glad that you've got them and they, they're just kind of sharp and stylish. I'm really glad about that. The other thing is the range, you know, uh, of products. You start with something like the Drive Sleek, which is, you know, designed for a single person in a car. And, you know, you take it all the way up to being able to boost spaces of 20, 25,000 square feet in a DIY product, which is pretty darn impressive. It's all really, really scalable. And the nice thing is that there's products all along the way you know, depending on what you need, you're going to find something that's right in that sweet spot for you. You know, WeBoost is always sold to the consumer. They have another line called Wilson Pro, which is for installers, but that's not what we're talking about today. Um, they've always sold straight to the consumer, to the DIYer, because honestly, cell phone signal boosters just are super easy to install. The consumer ones usually have one outdoor antenna, one indoor antenna, and then you just put the indoor antenna kind of in the middle of where you're trying to boost. You put the outdoor antenna in a way that it's pointing to the closest cell tower, and there's a lot of different ways to find out where that is. Uh, you plug it all in, and you turn it on, and it just kind of works. There's a, a few rules you need to follow specifically about how far away the antennas need to be from each other, but that's really about it. It's one of the easiest upgrades you can make into your home or business, and it's a worthwhile one, too, because, you know, 
like I said in the past, and like I said at the beginning of this particular podcast, about 95% of people will suffer from bad signals sometime during every single day, which is amazing, amazing. And yet, you know, we just put up with it. We, we think, oh, well, there's nothing we can do. We depend on our cell phones. They're, they are our most prized possession. I've said this before. You know, think about it. If you left your wedding ring at home, you probably maybe call at home, or if you knew that you had it at home, you feel comfortable, I'll put it back on when I get home. If you left your phone at home, chances are you're turning around. You don't want to live without it. It's the thing we touch more than anything in our lives. It's the thing that we have the deepest affection for on a very basic level. And why wouldn't you want it to work better? And then, you know, we're finally getting to the point where we're having people visiting the home again, visiting businesses, and they want good cell service too. Oh, sure, you can go in through the trouble of, you know, putting them on your Wi-Fi. Nobody wants that. It's 2021, and that's just not how we do things. They just want good cell service. And so give people that good cell service with a cell booster. You know, people walk into a space that's got a cell phone signal booster going, they won't know anything other than they're getting great signal, other than they can browse quickly, text quickly, talk on the phone if that's still your deal. It really is amazing. And, you know, as I've said from beginning to end in this podcast, WeBoost is the line you should be looking for. I'm going to be pointing you at the end of this podcast to our selection of WeBoost signal boosters. I hope you'll take a look. And if you have any questions, call the experts at Solid Signal. 888-233-7563 is the hotline that you can call during East Coast business hours. And I, I really, you know, I think it's worth it. No, these are not $50 items. These cost a little bit more money, but, you know, your average cell phone signal booster is going to cost half to a third of the cost of a premium phone. It will work as long as your next three phones at least, and it will help everybody in your space. It's just plain worth it. Give WeBoost cell phone signal boosters a try. Uh, tell them Stuart just sent you, uh, that's as I used to say, and I will talk to you all next week. <music> 